What's up squad? I just got back from grocery shopping at Costco. In my last video, you guys see me at Whole Foods. I don't always go to Whole Foods. You don't have to go to Whole Foods. Whole Foods does have more organic choices or an organic is better because of all the chemicals, pesticides, all that I'm sure you guys have already heard about that. But for those of you who can't afford it, because Whole Foods is a little bit more expensive, you can still eat healthy, make good nutritional choices at other, e at other grocery store chains. When I'm ready to do a big uh, meal prep for the week, I go to Costco, I buy in bulk. Today I want to share with you guys what I got there, so let's check it out. So the first thing I want to go over are all my fruit selections. I chose berries. Berries are a staple with all my grocery shopping just because of the antioxidants that they give you and the low glycemic index that they give you. Very low in sugar and as I said full of antioxidants help strengthen your immune system. So I have blackberries, blueberries, and I got all the organic ones, and strawberries. Also I got this fruit bowl with a mixture of different fruits just so I can get a variety of them. Um, I try to get as many different fruits as possible. I have uh, some orange melon, green, mango, pineapple, and then a little bit more strawberries. This is kind of cool just so I don't have to buy the whole fruit and I just get a little taste of all of them. I got clementines, which you guys already know that I use to squeeze on my salads for dressing. I don't always do that. Sometimes I put it in my oatmeal. Sometimes I put it in my Greek yogurt with my snacks. Also have bananas, the small ones. These are all organic. Got pears. Bananas and pears are really good for simple sugars, really good pre-workout to help give you a little bit of energy and post-workout for recovery. So the next category is veggies. Here I got broccoli florets, which are very high in potassium, vitamin C, vitamin A, bell peppers. I love bell peppers, they're my favorite. I just love how they taste. Plus, um, I've been deficient in vitamin C in the past, so I wanna make sure I keep my vitamin C up and bell peppers have high amounts of vitamin C. French green beans, baby bella portobello mushrooms, organic. Can't forget your mixed greens. Can't forget your mixed greens. Mixed greens really help out clean out your system. They're like a detox with, with uh, actual food instead of just doing liquid. It's natural, better for your system to help your metabolism keep going. And just, next, we're gonna be moving on to my lean meats where I get my protein from. These are not the only sources of protein. You can also get protein from eggs, Greek yogurt. Um, a lot of plants have protein, very minimal amounts. But if you're looking for concentration of protein, lean meats is the way to go. So I go with chicken, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. By the way, these were not frozen when I bought them. They're frozen because I just pulled them out of my freezer. I usually get them fresh. Um, and I usually go with chicken thighs, but today I got chicken breasts. Uh, the reason being is because I feel like chicken breasts get a little bit too dry. Even though, even though they have higher amounts of protein, I prefer chicken thighs, but you can go chicken breasts. Lean ground turkey. You can make turkey meatballs, turkey hamburger patties. Sometimes, most of the time, I actually just make ground turkey just like this. Throw some brown rice in there, and that's how I like to eat it. Fresh salmon. Fresh salmon. Make sure you don't get farm salmon, but wild fresh salmon. It's better. High in omega-3s, if you guys remember what I was talking about, healthy fatty acids help with brain function, eyes, skin, nails, fresh salmon, omega-3s with some tri-tip. And these are my protein choices, my lean meats. Only red meat is a tri-tip. Next, we're gonna be moving on to carbohydrates. One of my favorite choices for carbohydrates, if you know me, some of you might, some of you may not, sweet potatoes, my favorite. But this time, I wanted to mix it up and get different kinds of potatoes. Potatoes are a great source, a great source of carbohydrates. They have fiber, they have iron, they do a lot for your body. So make sure you eat some potatoes, okay? And then I got oatmeal, old fashioned oatmeal, Quaker oats. Usually I get steel cut oats because they go through less of a process. These are a little bit more processed when they get rolled out, but they didn't have steel cut oats this time, so I got regular oatmeal. My bean lovers, you can get red kidney beans, black black beans, those are really good sources of complex carbohydrates. And what that means is in the body, they break down very slowly. They give you a little bit of sugar, a little bit of glucose at a time, so they don't overload your body with sugar, so you're less likely to store that sugar, and then that's what becomes fat. 
Last but not least, here we got healthy fats and miscellaneous items. Let's go over the healthy fats first. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about avocado oil and coconut oil. Avocado oil is better to cook with. That's the reason why I chose this because it burns at a higher temperature. So it doesn't darken or thicken when you cook with it like olive oil does because it burns at a higher temperature. So this is better to cook with um, and so is coconut oil. If you cook with olive oil, it gets darker on the pan, it burns quicker at a lower temperature, and it's very difficult for your body to digest that oil and break that down within your system. So avocado oil, coconut oil. Pistachios, some nuts. Pine nuts, all my mixture, my little, I guess you could call it my little trail mix. Pecans, almonds full of potassium. And omega-3s, walnuts. Talk to you guys what omega-3s were important for. With the salmon, walnuts got them too. So do almonds. Get some good healthy nuts. Then, peanut butter. Just because I like Skippy, Chunky Skippy. Add that to my oatmeal, my Greek yogurt sometimes. Cholula hot sauce, because I like some hot sauce sometimes. I also like a Sweet Baby Ray's uh, Wild Buffalo Wing Sauce. That one's, that one's good too. Add a little flavor to your food, no big deal. Kodak cakes, dark chocolate mix. This is made with wheat flour, a little bit healthier for you, and it has protein powder in it. Maple syrup, a natural sweetener. Um, maple syrup, because it's a natural sweetener, your system can break it down easier, but I wouldn't follow the serving size on the back of this one. Serving size is a quarter of a cup, 53 grams of sugar. You definitely don't want that. I would probably put like a couple of teaspoons in my coffee, in my oatmeal, and in my Greek yogurt to help sweeten it up. But your system can break that down nice and easy. It's just tree sap, natural sweetener. Then apple cider vinegar. Good cleanser, good detox for the body. Grab a teaspoon, put it in some water about two times a day. This will help you clean your system out. It'll also help you lean out, making sure that your pH level is where it's supposed to be and you're not so much into the acidic side. You're more alkaline. I wanted to try something out. I wanted to uh, indulge a little bit. So I got these popcorners. They're like uh, popcorn chips. So a little bit of indulgence is okay. They have about three to five different ingredients. So it's pretty good for chips. I'm gonna try it out and they're not fried, they're baked. So I got these at Costco. If you guys are at Costco, try them out. They're pretty good. Again, low in ingredients. We'll see how those go. They look pretty good to me.